one particular example. We were doing so with our clergy gathering um, as we try to shift to these learning communities. Um, we brought everybody together um, for a big ministerial. And as that, in you know, the ideal of wanting them to help shape it, we divided people up into tables at one point and they were supposed to make this big list of what they were hoping for and out of what ministerial would become for a gathering for clergy but as we were doing that I realized that we just unleashed exactly the opposite of what we were actually trying to do and we'd we'd, we'd shot ourselves in the foot so to speak right like we had um, everyone was contentious Everyone was thinking about just what they wanted um, in this gathering, and it was very much about the insiders, right? And nothing about a learning community. Mm -hmm. And so afterwards, when we were sitting and thinking about that, it's like, oh, well, what do we do? What do we do with this, right? And it's just like, oh, well, we just come clean on saying, right? You know, thanks for all the pieces of paper, but that was our old defaults and actually this is the work now that we need to do and uh, and what was that next step then of what you needed to so so then what we did is actually we did it just like we learned it's not about talking it's about the action and reflecting so um, clergy were given a task to go out and talk to um, one person in their congregation, one person out of their congregation about um, what they saw as the challenges facing the church and then to bring that information back for us to reflect on together. Hmm. And that became a beautiful experiment because a number of people didn't do it and reported back on what they assumed they would have heard just in general and then a few people that had done brought their detailed list with notes of what they were hearing. And it was the be most beautiful learning um, together to say, oh, okay, this is why we're doing the pieces that we're doing. So Nice. 